In our first demonstration, we will illustrate extending existing data center networking into OpenStack infrastructure as a service. OpenStack Neutron will have predefined VLANs, which will then be shared to cloud tenants. There will be L3 subnets defined on those VLANs, so guest instances can have IP allocations. Through the LBAS plugin, the F5 ADC will dynamically provision appropriate VLANs as well as any L3 addresses it needs to provide its service. All right, so for our first demonstration, we have existing data center VLANs, VLANs 62 and 63. We've put a Neutron subnet on each one of those VLANs, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a VIP. We're going to create a VIP and put it on the subnet we created on VLAN 62, and then we're going to create a pool which encompasses cloud instances on both VLAN 62 on that subnet and a subnet we put on VLAN 63. Now this pool could also encompass regular data center services that already exist. It doesn't matter. We have connectivity because we're using just shared VLANs. Here's the network detail page for my provider VLAN. You'll see that this was all set up for me. It's shared. Um, it has a subnet on it. So as a tenant, I log in. I see these. That's great. I've already uh, put instances on it. So I've already uh, launched some web servers over here on those. Uh, let's show the load balancing facility. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my pool. I'll just call it uh, provider VLAN VIP to provider VLAN pool. Nice and easy. We'll pick the subnet associated with this provider VLAN. We'll make it an HTTP VIP. We'll use least connections as a load balancing method. We'll go ahead and add our cloud instances to that pool. We won't give them any particular weighting. Their web server is nice and easy on port 80. Okay. We'll tell the big IP to monitor those with an HTTP monitor. And then we will add a VIP. Now before I do that, I want to direct your attention to the top right hand corner. Uh, this is just a terminal showing a, a repetitive refresh of the Neutron Agent Show command. The LBAS plugin uses a standard Neutron Agent but every 10 seconds that agent reports back to Neutron and gives you lots of operational information about your big IPs. Not the least of which is how many services are running on it. And we haven't provisioned a VIP yet, so it still says zero. So let's see if that number changes. Let's call this uh, provider VLAN 62 VIP. And we will come down here and give it an address from that space. We'll use port 80 on our VIP. We'll say it's an HTTP VIP. Uh, let's use cookie persistence, and you know, let's not let's not give it any particular connection limit. Let's add it, and you'll notice that when that gets added um, to services, again, this updates every 10 seconds over here. Oh, there it changed to one. Well, what did that do on our big IP? Well, here's the GUI for our big IP, and if I log in, I hit services. You'll see. Wait a minute. Where is it? Actually, this is a multi-tenant setup, so we correctly built an administrative partition for this OpenStack tenant. There's my VIP, much better. And it has a pool associated with it. There it is. And it has two pool members, as I suspected. Now, what did the big IP need to, to know to do to get connected to those pool members? Well, one of the things it had to do is ask Neutron about those two provider uh, VLANs. And they weren't set up beforehand, they were set up dynamically. Because Neutron knew about them. The provider said, these are shared VLANs you need to be able to talk to. And the big IP connected uh, to each one of those VLANs when the service was turned up. Now it also went through and talked um, to the Neutron subnet and allocated for itself um, addresses for each one of the devices on each one of those uh, subnets so that it could talk to the pool members at layer 3. It was smart enough as well to create a SNAT pool for this particular tenant and in that SNAT pool it allocated addresses on both the 62 and 63 subnets um, so that it could use a source network address translation to talk to the pool members. 
again there's my VIP don't don't take our word for it let's uh, go look at my VIP in OpenStack and it says I'm on 10 0 well let's go and there it is very good we've uh, completed our first demonstration we've created a VIP on a predefined VLAN in our data center and we now have pool members on these same uh, data center subnets.